Some kitchens are tucked away in places most of us would never think of or venture into. From the galleys of the Great Lakes, now a floating kitchen as we descend into the galleys of the huge vessels that travel the Great Lakes. Freighter food. They said that the heart of a ship is the kitchen. If you ain't got good food on a ship, you got trouble. <laughs> It's no days off. You work seven days a week, 12 hours a day. 60 days on, 30 days off. My name is Calvin Statham Sr. I call myself Cook. I've been on the Great Lakes going on 33 years. Michigan, of course, is in the shape of a mitten, and it's surrounded, except across the bottom, by the Great Lakes. I'm Paula McKenna. I'm author of Ships of the Great Lakes cookbook, there are 14 freighters featured. They're over a thousand feet long, the length of three football fields. They're breathtaking. Lake freighters, call them iron ore carrier, coal carrier, stone carrier. You out there away from home, you look forward to a good meal. In a cook business, I have to wear about five different hats. Some days I got my Italian hat on. Sometimes I got my Chinese hat on. The freighter recipes are known in the Cleveland area, and you see them sometimes printed in the paper. Incredible goulash and strudel. I'm Margaret Engel. I grew up right outside of Cleveland. This is the real hearty working man's food that came from the Eastern European immigrants who came to work in Cleveland in the steel mills or on those freighters. Come on, you young sailors who followers these lakes. Don't you ship in an iron ore packing for your living to make?